How's everybody doing? God bless. Hope everybody's doing well. We're only a few days away. We'll see what happens on the 11th. Watching. Watching and waiting. The hurricane hasn't got here yet, as I said before. It's going to be here roughly around 11, the flood waters, as it passes through. I can see other people are picking up on the hurricane, as I've been talking about forever. Uh, the three woes, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But as I said, this is in Isaiah 21. I've been talking about this for years. And Isaiah 28, the uh, flood, the hurricanes, the three woes. I can see other people are making videos about it now. And uh, the last Trump, I can see other people are making videos. I've talked about Trump being dead, which would be the last Trump. I've talked about it forever. I can see that uh, I've been talking about it forever. People are probably getting sick about it, but uh, I wish it was over already. I wish this all would have happened already, but it hasn't. And uh, I'm going to share my brother James' video because he's spot on as I, I he's showing it in a different place of the Bible, but I will talk about that also. Uh, James' video, but I wanted to go over this. These are the two uh, I've been showing. I showed this before. There's Raphael and there's Sarah. These are the two hurricanes, and I believe that we'll be out of here at Raphael. But we'll see Sarah, if you know who Sarah is, Abraham's. She's, uh, Sarah is the only, God changed her name, Sarah's name. The only name in the Bible that was changed. Our names will be changed when we get to heaven. We'll have a new name. Um, Sarah can also be found in um, Hebrews 11.11, 11, which is... Uh, 11 11 so well we have Raphael I did videos on that I'm not really going to go over that again uh, Raphael cleansing by a flood I talked about months weeks ago at least three weeks ago as you can see Sarah 11 11 she's Abraham's wife the only one whose name was changed by God so there you go. Those are the next two. As you can see, it's coming. And it's getting stronger. Now, this path, like I said, if it doesn't hit Texas, you know, we'll see. The projection's saying it turned, but these guys are are uh, um, just predicting. They don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. But it's still going to be affecting are the United States. It's going to still be affecting the United States. If it hits in um, in uh, somewhere in Mexico and comes up the coast, it's still going to follow the same direction. If it comes up the coast here, it will come in here, and then it will come, just like these storms have been coming. And thin air has been showing this, and there's flooding up the Mississippi River, as I've talked about before. And there you can see it nice and clear. Now watch this one and this one and watch where this goes. Take a look at what it connects to and what starts happening here. This flows all the way down into the Baja region of Mexico. This one's starting to widen here. And then take a look at this. Boom. Swoops right into our jet stream. And this will now be inside of our moisture that flows into the rest of the country. So whatever they put inside there is now going to be all over us. And this is very odd too, what's going on in New Mexico as well. If we go ahead and zoom into New Mexico, as I said, look at this area right here, right next to a radar tower. Watch, it's like a negative area that's been blocked out. You can see a gap in. So they've been doing this and this is exactly where the storm would come up. So even if it went down in uh, Mexico, it eventually will come back up into the United States. And they've been doing this, this has been for me, uh, people in Oklahoma area, I, like I said, I've been watching this, as most people know. This was uh, nine hours ago. Heavy rain. I'm supposed to get rain again Saturday. This is all up and down the Mississippi River. Also, hurricane, um, hurricane or uh, tornadoes. People, I've, I've, uh, as I said, I watched Puddin's Fab Shop. 
it's an automotive channel and he's in Oklahoma and he's had hurricanes he said it's not been like this hurricanes this late in the or excuse me tornadoes this late in the season and there's in this it's a conveyor belt and they've been saturating this area right here and this is also a watchman's warning for people in this area just like I warned the people that were in uh, uh, Florida before the hurricanes came to be prepared this is a watchman's warning you got four or five days just be prepared uh, most people know where the high ground is even in Tennessee in North Carolina those people knew where the high ground was they went up in the mountains uh, the some people stayed in their home they should have went to higher ground so they've been saturating this area up and down the Mississippi River when there is an earthquake it could split the whole United States and their warning of uh, danger in the Mississippi River now I'm gonna go over uh, James's video as I said I he talks about it right here Trump being Nebuchadnezzar the tree being cut down just as I've been saying I've been saying this in in uh, Jeremiah 50 the tree being cut down is only the beginning okay the tree, the tree being cut down is only the beginning that's right Trump's tree will be cut down as I said he's showing it in Isaiah 21 he's gonna go over it Isaiah 21 as I've been saying before this is also in Isaiah 28 Isaiah 28 it talks about Ephraim the fading flower that's the United States it says behold the Lord have a mighty strong one which a tempest of hail a destroying storm a flood of mighty waters overflow and cast down to the earth with a hand the pride of Ephraim this is us the fading flower this is us right here as the flood waters pass through I did share uh, James video on my community page and he says the same thing and he goes over it and I, I agree with him totally and he he, he says where it's at the prophecy to Daniel okay the tree has to be cut down mm. okay but that's not it <laughs> You see, the, the tree being cut down is only the beginning. Okay. The tree being cut down is only the beginning. And what did, when was the tree cut down? When the king of Babylon said that there was peace and safety. He was boasting. He says, it's not this great Babylon that I have built. And then what happened? The angels appeared. The watcher appeared. The angel appeared. Right. Revelation chapter 18. Right? At the same time as the rapture because there's war in heaven. My goodness, it's just everything, right? We could just expound upon this forever, right? I mean, there's no end of the exposition to this, hallelujah, because this is the everlasting word of God, right? The angel is going to appear, right? You see him in Revelation chapter 14, I believe it's Gabriel. <laughs> Here he goes again, right? Because God is showing us a different perspective of the same event, right? The fall of Babylon, mm. Just like in Nebuchadnezzar's day, right, when the king of Babylon was the tree that had to be cut down, right, at the fall of Babylon, the tree is cut down, right, and what's happening, there's war in heaven, the angel appears, announcing his Babylon is fallen, is fallen, Revelation chapter 18, verse 1, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory, and I shared James uh, James video on both of my channels. He's correct. This is as he said. He went out, he he goes all through it. Trump is a tree, as the Lord showed me. The Trump Trump's, Trump's falling off the stump, as I said. Um, Trump is a tree. He's a Nebuchadnezzar, as I said before. Uh, the flood, as I am showing you right now. These are the two things I'm talking about. And I've talked about forever, the last Trump. I've made videos about it, talked about it forever. I can see other people are picking up on it also. So, as I said, this is also in Jeremiah 50. It says his bones will be broken to pieces. 
This is in Isaiah, excuse me. This is Isaiah about the flood when Babylon falls. Judgment, spirit of judgment. Jeremiah 50. It says, uh, Israel is scattered lion, driven away. First, the king of Assyria devoured him. And the last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, hath broken bones. Uh, James didn't go over this, Jeremiah 50, but this... This is how you're supposed to read your Bible. This is de this is described as uh, in uh, Isaiah 28. Um, it says, "Who will he teach knowledge? Those that are weaned from the breasts, and uh, here a little, there a little." Uh, this is exactly how you're supposed to read your Bible. It's uh, Kings. It says the Bible talks about uh, um, who will he teach knowledge in Isaiah 28. And uh, here a little, there, this is how you're supposed to read your Bible. It's searching out a matter, as the Bible talks about. Uh, you're supposed to search out a matter, and this is searching out a matter. And uh, this is exactly what uh, James, James does here. That's why I always watch James. As you can see, he has all these tabs up here. He, he goes over it, explains it very good. He did a great job. As I said, he put, he, uh, he uh, talked about uh, just what I'm talking about. Good job, James. So, uh, Trump will be killed. His tree will be cut down uh, first, and then Babylon falls, as it says in Jeremiah 50 also. And I've showed this clip before. This is Trump. Spot on, Nebuchadnezzar. Mountain-like cannot be moved. I've made with mortar and brick. Its foundations I've placed upon the very bosom of the underworld. Its top I've raised mountain high. Is this not the great Babylon that I have built as my royal palace with my mighty power for the glory of my majesty? His words were still on his lips when a voice came down from heaven. <sighs> Nebuchadnezzar, for your arrogance and your failure to give glory to the Most High, your authority is stripped from you. So, but in the, the, last, the last Nebuchadnezzar, which is uh, Donald Trump, he'll be killed, he'll be dead. Um, he's a sacrifice that they show in all these movies. Uh, Superman. And as James says right here, as he says in his video, then the Antichrist comes out of the ashes after Nebuchadnezzar's trees cut down. And um, as he says, and I agree with him totally, so then uh, the Antichrist comes out of the ashes. I believe he's just, he talks about the seventh king in his video. He talks about it. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon 4, where Nebuchadnezzar had this dream of this great tree that was cut down. Mm. And when the great tree that was cut down, what happened? He says this in Daniel chapter 4, verse 28. All this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar at the end of 12 months. He walked in the palace of the kingdom of Babylon. The king spake and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty, the most proud? Right? Peace. I just, saw, I just showed it. And safety. <laughs> what happened next? Sudden destruction, the angel appears. Verse 31. While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. Mm. And they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beast of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over you until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and give it to whomsoever he will. The same hour, one day, one hour, Babylon the Great destroyed. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar, and he was driven from men, and did eat grass as oxen, and his body was wet as the dew of heaven, till his hairs were grown like eagle's feathers, and his nails like bird's claws. We dive deeper into this whole dream. <laughs> You see so many different details about the fourth beast kingdom because there was a stump left when the tree was cut down in the dream, right? In the dream, when the watcher appeared, <clears throat> when the watcher appeared, which is the angel, right? He says this in 
Daniel chapter 4, uh, verse 13. I saw in the visions of my head upon my bed, and behold, a watcher and an holy one came down from heaven. He cried aloud and said, Thus, hew down the tree and cut off his branches, shake off his leaves and scatter his fruit. Let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from his branches. Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen. Nevertheless, leave the stump of his roots in the earth, even with a band of iron and brass. That band of iron and brass is the fourth beast kingdom that Daniel describes in Daniel chapter 7, right? That fourth beast kingdom, right, has teeth of iron and nails of brass. And guess what? After the tree is cut down, who appears? Well, the beast appears. For how long? Seven years, right? And so we're seeing everything being played out before our very eyes right we're seeing that this tree is about to be cut down right babylon the great is about to be destroyed because it's not until babylon the great that then the beast who is the eighth king can appear who is of the seven right it's not until the great tree which is babylon the great the woman that great city which reigns over all the kings of the earth the final manifestation of the third beast kingdom it's not until she is utterly destroyed with the double destruction that then the final plan can be rolled out by these people who serve satan which is of course to put <laughs> tabiel on the throne right according to the prophet isaiah <laughs> they have a plan they have a plot to put Tabiel on the on the throne, right? They want to come and defile Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 7. Amen. Isaiah chapter 7, we get a type and shadow of the false prophet and the Antichrist, right? Here we see in Isaiah chapter 7 that there's a plot to take over Jerusalem and commit the abomination of desolation by the Antichrist and the false prophet. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 1. And it came to pass in the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, the son of Uzziah, king of Judah, Rezin, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, went up toward Jerusalem to war against it, but could not prevail against it. And it was told the house of David, saying, Syria is confederate with Ephraim. And his heart was moved, and the heart of his people, as the trees of the wood are moved with the wind. Then the Lord said unto Isaiah, Go forth now to meet Ahaz, thou and Shear Jashub thy son. Shear Jashub, the son of Isaiah, these two represent the two witnesses. Isaiah and Shear Jashub represent the two witnesses. At the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field, and say unto him, Take heed and be quiet, fear not, neither be faint-hearted for the two tails of these smoking firebrands, for the fierce anger of Rezin with Syria and the son of Remaliah. Because Syria, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah and vex it, and let us make a breach therein for us, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of Tabael. Okay. Antichrist, false prophet, dragon, unholy trinity, abomination of desolation. That's the plot, right? That's the plot. But guess what has to happen first, right? Guess what has to happen first? It has to be a new order of the ages right there has to be a new world order nobis ordo seclurum it's on the great seal on the back of the dollar bill right uh, here goes the, the chip daddy putting it out on uh november 6 2024 that hey we're almost there okay the chip daddy says we're almost there but there has to be a cutting down of the tree okay there has to be a trojan horse <laughs> Because the whole world can't believe what's going to happen when they get left behind and they see the great tree cut down. Right? The whole world won't believe how it happened. How could the most mightiest nation be taken in one day, even one hour? How could it happen? Mm. There was a Trojan horse. <laughs> right? There was a Trojan horse. Okay? She was destroyed from within first. And we already see what's happening. Good job, James. So he, yeah, he did a great job. Good job, James. Like I said, that is also in Jeremiah 50. Um, there's a lot of layers, a lot of layers in the Bible. But yeah, it says uh, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had broken bones. And uh, this has never happened yet. As I said before, this is Trump, as the Lord showed me. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. So, 
This is exactly what Trump does. As you can see, I just showed you the clip of Nebuchadnezzar and what James was talking about. A lot of people like the visuals. I just showed you here just what James was talking about. The of kings is often short. And 12 months later, when the king was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon. In all the world, is there anything like this? No, my king. My great wall, which mountain-like cannot be moved, I've made. Great wall, just like Trump. With mortar and brick. Its foundations I've placed upon the very bosom of the underworld. Its top I've raised mountain high. Is this not the great Babylon that I have built as my royal palace with my mighty power for the glory of my majesty? His words were still on his lips when a voice came down from heaven. <sighs> Nebuchadnezzar, for your arrogance and your failure to give glory to the Most High, your authority is stripped from you. Go now. So there you go. That's exactly what James was talking about. That's exactly what Trump does. Most people know and this. More than I do. Nobody builds walls better than me. But he's in the history of... This country has ever known so much about infrastructure as Donald Trump. Nobody knows that better than me. Nobody even understands it but me. Nobody can do it like me. Which is why I alone can fix it. I have Ivy League education, smart guy. I know words, I have the best words. I mean, like, I'm a smart person. It's this. It's not my salesmanship. It's what? This. You know what that is? It's the brain power. I'm getting thousands of letters and tweets that I was right about the whole situation. I mean, I've been right about a lot of things, frankly. I should be a newscaster because I called it before the news. I watch your stuff. You know, I'm like a guy with vision. I have an instinct for this kind of thing. I'm good at war. I've had a lot of wars of my own. I'm really good at war. In my book, I predicted terrorism. It's a rigged system. I think I've done a great service by pointing this out. I was the one that really broke the glass ceiling on behalf of women. I think I'm doing the military a great favor. Did a great job in Texas, a great job in Florida. I truly believe that the first 100 days of my administration has been just about the most successful in our country's history. So, give glory to God. So, uh, as you can see, as far as Obama leaving the country, um, he could be meeting with the 10 kings, as we know, uh, without somebody taking a picture of him and showing him uh, in England and it was not really publicized very well when this was uh, six eight months ago if you googled Obama leaving the country or anything about Obama uh, Microsoft which is Bill Gates uh, people can say oh Bill Gates doesn't own it no more Bill Gates still controls Microsoft um, in the system they are scrubbing everything off the internet uh, I want to bring this to your attention. This was just brought to me by Shira. This is what's going to happen all around the world as uh, the Arabs. Um, the Arabs are the ones that are going to come after Israel as, as they have forever through history. But this is what's going to happen with the Christians and the Jews. Dutch police have reported that at least 25 Israelis have been severely beaten up, including stabbed, repeatedly kicked in the head, and then having their bodies thrown into the canals of Amsterdam. This happened after a sporting event that featured an Israeli. This has happened forever through history, and uh, this is what's going to happen. So, anyway, this is the end of my video. Uh, the hurricane, the flood, the flood in the last Trump as I've been talking about forever. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm very uh, hopeful, but uh, as I said before, the last Trump, the last Trump has to happen first, and that's in, in Jeremiah 50, and that's what I'm watching. Plus Damascus, Damascus. Israel could make one more blow on Damascus before uh, they declare peace and then the United States, but uh, they better hurry up and get it done. I mean, we've all been waiting for a long time. We're, we're all hoping that it will happen very shortly. Well, hopefully it'll happen this weekend. We'll see what happens. The stock market's still up, so God bless.